Hello everyone. Today uh, we are going to solve an example on eccentric bolted connection design uh, type 1. So without wasting time, let's uh, start with the example. So here is the question uh, and it is given that design an eccentric bolted connection to the following requirements. What are the requirements? The factor load on each bracket plate is 180 kN, eccentricity of the load is 250 mm, we have the number of vertical rows of bolt is 2, the distance between two rows is 120 mm, two rows of balls is 120 mm, spacing of the bolt in each row is 100 mm, ball diameter is 20 mm, thickness of the bracket plate is 10 mm, uh, grade is given to be 4.6 and grade of steel plate is fe410 now using these requirements we have to uh, we have to go through the question and uh, draw the diagram that what are the requirements of the design so that we can proceed with the design so if we draw the figure in this way this is the gusset plate and this is the flange which are to be joined now what does the question says what are the things given to us in question factored load on each bracket plate is 180 kN that means here this load is 180 kN factored load eccentricity of the load is 250 mm so eccentricity means what uh, this is the G the distance from here to here that is the distance between the line of action of the load and the CG is your E that is given to be 250 number of next is number of vertical rows of balls is 2 that means uh, when we will be using balls to connect these two plates we will be using two vertical rows of balls that means in this way here we will do the boltings such only in two rows this and this such that uh, these two are connected then the distance between two rows is 120 mm that means distance between these two is 120 mm that means uh, the distance of one row of balls from the CG is how much 60 uh, rest is spacing of the balls in okay spacing of the balls in each row is 100 mm in each row here balls will be here 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 balls will be here okay so in each row the distance between the balls is 100 mm 100 mm okay that means what this is the uh, load this distance is parallel to the line of action of this load so it means this is the pitch distance given to us pitch distance is the parallel distance between the balls parallel to the line of action of the load so now we can all design so our first step will be to calculate the shearing strength of the bolt or uh, this you can see in your clause number 10.3.3 page number 75 of is 800 2007 this also i have uh, already uh, discussed with you how to calculate these things in my previous videos you can check it out here by clicking here on the i button let me uh, calculate for you for this design for this example uh, shearing strength is vd sb is equal to vn sb by gamma mb and what is your vn sb this one that means VDSB is FU by root 3 and then ANB plus this this but this is always 0 <coughs> so we require now ANB and ANB you know it is always 78% of the bolt area so we have calculated here 78% of the bolt area ball diameter is 20 mm so we got our ANB to be 245.04 now if we place all the values here how much we will get the vd vd vnsb sorry vdsb fu is the ultimate tensile stress of the bolt for fu uh, sorry for grade of 4.6 bolt we know our fu is 400 next is nn nn is the number of shear planes and this is always one for the 
shear plane here it is one since lab joint a and b we already have calculated here uh, gamma and b you know from table 5 so shearing strength is calculated next step is to calculate the bearing strength of the ball this is also given in your clause number 10.3.4 of page number 75 is 800 here what does is code say you that uh, uh, bearing strength can be calculated by this formula that is v n p b by gamma m b v n p b is the nominal bearing strength of the ball where which is uh, 2.5 k b into d into f u and your d is the diameter of the ball t is the thickness of the thinner plate f u is the ultimate tensile stress of the ball and what is your kb kb is the smaller of these four values e by 3d naught p by 3d naught minus 0 0.25 or f u b by <coughs> f u so one what is your ash distance we know when it is not provided to us ash distance the minimum ash distance was one uh, sorry pitch distance is given to us to be 100 mm already in our question it is mentioned to us ash distance was 1.5 into the diameter of the hole and diameter of the bolt we know it is 20 mm so 20 plus 2 will give us 22 mm this much now if we calculate e by 3d naught p by 3d naught minus 0 0.25 fu b by fu what we get this smaller of these four is 0 0.5 so we can place this values here 2.5 into kb kb is a smaller is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 into 10 10 is the this one thickness of the thinner plate 20 is the diameter of the plate f u is the ultimate tensile stress of the bolt next step will be calculating the number of row, balls in each row so for that you will have to know this root over 6 m by n dash into p v s d now what is your if we uh, go to the figure you see here uh, your moment is this load into your eccentricity v s d you already have calculated just now p is the pitch distance n dash is the number of uh, rows of balls which is two number of rows of balls are there and from this calculation we got that the number of balls must be six so we'll place in each ball to we'll place six uh, in each row we'll place six number of balls in this way six here six here so then now next step is okay and here also uh, in a question already mentioned that this distance between the two balls is 100 mm parallel to this load now next step is we will consider the bolt which is marked a at a distance r from g and the step 4 is after considering we will find out the resistance to translation per bolt of uh, which we have uh, to calculate f1 and f2 f1 was what w by n which is the resistance to the direct load this one due to this load this resistance is due to the direct load here so each bolt is going to carry a load of w by n and this you have to resist the bolt has each bolt has to resist this load w by n w is this we know and n is the number of balls so that is 12 so f1 is 15 kilonewton next we have to once we know f1 the resistance to the direct load we also have to calculate the resistance to rotation f2 so next step will be to calculate the resistance to rotation f2 for f2 we know it is k into r here if you see this is the f2 which is the rotation the resistance due to rotation what is your k here at r is the radial distance from the cg to the bolt which we consider at point a now what was k k is w into e by summation of r square and what is r square here we can easily calculate the summation of r square r square value we can calculate from this uh, by Pythagoras theorem if you see r square will be this x square plus y square summation of x square plus y square will give you your summation of this r square so w e by summation of r square becomes summation of x square plus summation of 
y square. Now, what is the summation of x square? x is the distance from the CG to the uh, bolt. Here you can see this. So, for each bolt, you are looking that the x distance is same from this side it is 60, from this side it is 60. So, we have multiplied with 12 this 60 x square because x square summation we require, right? So, this is the x square. Next, we have to calculate the y square. So, y square is given by this. That means the distance of each ball from the CG along y axis. So, this balls, if we see this four balls, the distance of this four ball is 1, 2, 2.5, that means 250. So, 4 into 250 square. Now, this four balls, this ball, this, this and this have the same distance from CG. That is 150. So, 4 into 150 square. This ball, this ball and this, this have the same uh, y distance from CG. That means 50. So, 4 into 50 square. So, once we calculate this, we can place it here and find out the k value. K will get it to be 180 into eccentricity 250. Summation of x square, summation of y square will get the k value so f2 will be how much this into r now the next step if we see we have to calculate the vertical components so this is the pre-boy diagram of for the resultant resistances resistance f1 f2 at the point a from the g at a radial distance r from g okay so here we see how many vertical components we can find f1 another one is f2 sin theta this one so f1 is how much f1 is w by n we know resistance to the direct load f2 sin theta f2 we know again we have just now calculated f2 and sin theta remains sin theta now from here this uh, equation we get r sin theta we can calculate from this r sin theta is how much sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse so r sin theta will give us 40 60 sorry so 60 so the total vertical component is 21867 newton now if we calculate step number 7 no, sorry step in step number 7 if we calculate the horizontal component see the figure here uh, only this component can be converted into a vertical component horizontal component that is f2 cos theta so if we apply here f2 was this much 114.44 r so r cos theta we can calculate from here cos theta is what cos theta is base by hypotenuse so base is uh, base by hypotenuse so base is 250 r cos theta is 250 so horizontal component is this now we will calculate the total resultant resistance. Next step is to calculate the total resultant resistance which is our total horizontal forces plus vertical forces plus horizontal forces uh, since R square is this square plus this square so R will be this that means the total resultant resistance is 36.01 cal kilonewton now we have to check this resultant resistance whether it is less or not so this is less than our bolt value bolt value is nothing but the smaller of the step number one and step number two the shearing strength and bearing strength that means uh, whichever is smaller is your strength of the bolt bolt value and this bolt value is greater than our resultant resistance so therefore we know our design is safe because if the bolt has 45.27 unit of strength and the resistance which it has to provide is 36 so it is obviously safe but if our resultant resistance with the resistance if the bolt has to provide a resistance of 50 kN suppose and you have a bolt value of 45.27 that means it is going to fail because the strength of the bolt is 45.27 it cannot give a resistance of 50 kN so our design is done and it is safe in this example thank you so much for watching 
uh, my video so comment if you have any doubts or if you want to tell me something and also if you think that this video was helpful please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for any further updates whenever i upload video you will get a notification for that you have to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon thank you